To be assertive is to maintain your own self-esteem and personal identity whilst confidently engaging with other people around you. This is sometimes difficult to do when you are being harassed by an aggressive or passively aggressive person. These are some good tips to help you feel more assertive and empowered. If someone tries to bully or intimidate you, tell them clearly and assertively to stop. Express your feelings, say if you're feeling unhappy or uncomfortable. If they know this, they can't pretend that they were just teasing or playing. Be confident about who you are and what you stand for. This is your personal identity and you should never compromise on this. Respect other people and what makes them unique and different. Build a community of like-minded friends around you who you know will support and stand up for you. Protect yourself and your information. Be smart about where you hang out and who you share your contact details with. Defend your right to be who you are. This is the most fundamental and universal human right of all. Finally, embrace your inner superhero. There is a superhero hiding in each of us with unique talents and skills. Tap into these and show the world your superpowers. Let's spend some time thinking about what makes you special and unique. Think about this bowl as representing your own self-esteem or how you feel about yourself. Now think about all the things that people say to you that make you feel special and good about yourself. Perhaps you've been told that you are very beautiful, or that you are clever, or that you are caring. Your self-esteem bowl feels quite full now, doesn't it? Now think about all the things that people say to you that make you feel sad or unhappy about yourself. Perhaps they have commented negatively about your appearance, or made fun about your intellect, or how they feel about you. All of those lovely things that were put into your self-esteem bowl have now been taken out. The lesson is, if you allow other people to fill your self-esteem bowl, you also allow them to empty it. Spend some time thinking about all the things that make you special and unique. The things that no one can take out of your self-esteem bowl, because you know that they are true for you. Now write these things onto the circles in your workbook and place them in your self-esteem bowl. In this exercise, we're going to move beyond what makes you special and unique to what you see as your own superpowers. In your workbook, draw yourself as a superhero. Give yourself a superhero name that captures who you are. Describe your superhero skills. These are special talents and things that you've learned and that you'd like to share with the world. Then describe your superpowers. These are your unique behaviors or how you do what you do in a way that is uniquely you. Before we can address bullying in a positive and proactive way, we need to be clear about what makes us special, our personal identity, our skills and talents, and the unique way we bring all of this to the world. One way we can look at bullying is through transactional analysis, which tries to understand how we interact with each other socially. When we engage with each other, we can choose to do this in one of three ways. Aggressively, where we try to dominate or hurt the other person, submissively where we give in to the other person and allow them to dominate us or assertively where we stand up for ourselves but also respect each other's self-esteem. When we are aggressive we tend to force the other person into a submissive role which is not ideal. When we are submissive we tend to endorse and allow the other person's aggression and domination. The ideal way to interact is to be assertive and to ensure that both our own and the other person's self-esteem remains intact throughout our interaction. We are now going to try a few role-playing exercises where we can explore aggressive, submissive and then assertive approaches to dealing with bullying. In the first scenario, imagine a bully laughs at you and starts calling you names like loser and idiot. The aggressive way to respond is to shout names back at the bully like, you are the idiot and no one likes you. The submissive way to respond is to get upset and start crying or look down at your feet and say nothing. The assertive way to respond is to calmly reflect their behavior back to them by saying, that's pretty mean. Is everything okay with you? In the second scenario, imagine a bully calls you useless on a sports field and tells you to move out of the way so they can take over. The aggressive way to respond is to shout back, you are the useless one and tell them to get lost. The submissive way to respond is to walk away and allow the bully to take over. The assertive way to respond is to not give way to them and to say, don't worry, I've got this. In the third scenario, imagine a bully steals something from you and laughingly says, this is mine now. The aggressive way to respond is to attack the bully and try to get it back. The submissive way to respond is to shrug and say, okay, and let the bully take what they have stolen. The assertive way to respond is to hold on to the item and firmly say, no, this is mine, or to tell the bully you are going to report the theft if they don't return your things. 
In the fourth scenario, imagine a bully pushes in line and shoves you out of the way. The aggressive way to respond is to shove them back and tell them, you're an idiot. The submissive way to respond is to allow them to push in and say nothing. The assertive way to respond is to stand your ground and say, there is no pushing in, go to the back of the line. In the fifth scenario, imagine a bully shoves you and says, do you want to fight? The aggressive way to respond is to say, sure, and then attack the bully. The submissive way to respond is to freeze and say nothing or run away. The assertive way to respond is to say, I have no interest in fighting with you and calmly walk away. In the sixth scenario, imagine a bully tells your friends if they want to be their friend, they can't play with you. The aggressive way to respond is to spread nasty rumors about the bully. The submissive way to respond is to go and sit on your own and leave your friends alone. The assertive way to respond is to speak to the bully and your friends about their behavior. Tell them, I know what you're doing and it's not acceptable behavior. In the seventh scenario, imagine a bully posts an embarrassing picture that they took of you in the change rooms on a WhatsApp group. The aggressive way to respond is to attack the bully and try to smash their phone. The submissive way to respond is to ignore the post and what everyone is saying about it. The assertive way to respond is to tell the bully that you know they shared the picture, that you've taken a screenshot as proof, and that you will be reporting them to the authorities in your school, as this is illegal. In the eighth scenario, imagine a bully sees that you are unhappy and posts, I wish you would go and commit suicide on your social media page. The aggressive way to respond is to troll them on their social media page. The submissive way to respond is to ignore the post and just block them. The assertive way to respond is to ask them in person why they posted such a mean comment online. Tell them to remove the post or you will take further action and report them. Each of these scenarios are good ways to practice how to respond to a bully, but sometimes we have a bad interaction with someone and we can't think of how to respond in the moment. If this happens to you, Take a deep breath and assertively tell the bully, I'm not prepared to talk to you at the moment, then calmly walk away. When you are able to, run through the scenario in your mind or with the help of a friend. Think through the aggressive, the submissive and then the assertive way to respond. Practice the assertive way to respond so that you are prepared if this interaction should happen again. If you are able, proactively talk to the bully about what they said or did to you at a later stage in a calmer environment. Tell them how it made you feel and ask them why they thought it was appropriate for them to behave this way. The best way to have an assertive conversation is to reflect the aggressive or passively aggressive bully's behavior back to them in a calm way, to try and help them to reflect on why the interaction was so problematic for you. Most often a bully behaves in an aggressive way because they believe that violence is the best way to solve conflict. We need to teach them that the most effective way to solve conflict is through love. We may not be able to change their behavior, but we can change how we respond to them and this will teach them a new perspective. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit courage-community.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Courage channel. Stay strong and take courage.